Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Cave. If you're just joining us, you're uh, rejoining the adventure of our adventurer, our scientist, and our knight. I always mix up the D-pads that we have to use to get them. And we've just kind of finished our uh, first real puzzle in the game, and we're going to get involved. I know in the last episode I said this wasn't really a physics-based puzzler, uh, but there are going to be some physics-based puzzles that we're going to have to deal with here. It's a nice little mix of... Uh, you know, physics-based puzzling, as well as more point-and-click, kind of abstract combinations of items uh, style uh, that you're going to see. So what we have to do here, as you can see, obviously, we've got this bridge that is completely untraversable to us. Unless we do this and get uh, the weight down so that we can actually traverse this. And there's going to be a new piece of uh, cave painting for us here, so we're going to get this. Remember the story of the knight? Uh, he's just a peasant boy, then the dude dies in front of him, uh, and he chooses to put the armor on, apparently. That fills in some of the gaps that I had earlier. Now, there are going to be some, uh, you know, physics-based puzzling hallmarks in this. Obviously, we can't get through here unless the scientist gets off, so come on, lady. There we go. Get your shit together. We're going to grab this right here. Now, the reason... I should probably set up the fail condition for this puzzle right here before just solving it. The reason we need this crate is because if we just take the scientist and we jump off here, she's just gonna die like a piece of garbage, basically. We could actually, using the power of the knight, we could have him jump off and then just become invis invincible, uh, and he can land, but fall damage will definitely kill that scientist. So instead, what we're gonna do, uh, let's take our adventurer here, and we're gonna drag the crate underneath, and then she should be able to fall down here safely, probably just at the edge of the fall damage, and then we'll be able to get through here. And we should all be able to jump over this accordingly, yes. Now, notice this switch. It's very important in the cave to pay attention to kind of like environmental cues. When we jump on this, we might say, oh, nothing happens. But if you look closely at this switch, there's three lights. If we jump off and jump back on, one of the lights will come down. So you can probably figure out exactly what we need there. A lot of the puzzles that involve cooperation uh, basically involve switches like this, where we need to... Uh, basically have one or two or three people standing on it at a time or we need somebody to hold a lever while somebody else makes their way through so that puzzle is fairly easy to complete although it does introduce i think the the reason that's there from a design pers perspective is to introduce the idea of fall damage killing you cannot be learned it is a quality you are born with that may or may not be true but what is true is you can't steal it it's a lesson our brave knight friend is about to learn or a lesson we hope he is about to learn before anyone else gets hurt or maimed, or killed, or eaten alive. Forget I said eaten alive. Spoilers! Try to pretend you didn't hear that. Anyway, one thing I want to mention about the cave, I mentioned this in the first part, but the game changes dynamically based on the characters that you took. So if you weren't playing as the knight right now, you would you have like an open area over here. I watched Kate play uh, a game where she didn't have the knight. Uh, the knight's like standalone quest is down there, but if you don't have the knight, it's impossible for you to get through there without being burned to a crisp. So you would actually just come up this way and there would be another area over here where you could do the, the quest for whatever respective character you took. I find that really interesting uh, and, and pretty inventive for a, uh, a puzzle platformer like this as well. But anyway, we do have the knight, so by using our invincibility we can fall down here and get the knight's quest, which is going to make up the bulk of this video. And maybe the next one, too. Another fine knight hath cometh to try and pulleth Excalibur from the stoneth. Only the worthy may attempt such a feat. Prove thy worth by first winning the love of my daughter. She is quite prickly, and I fear she will never wed. Returneth with her amulet as proof of her love, and thou will be granted a chance to pull it the swordeth from the stoneth. Thanketh you with for the questeth. So our mission briefing here basically is to go to uh, the king's daughter and win her love. Doesn't sound so hard, right? We're a knight in shining armor. Should be fairly easy. Uh, this is... I can't remember if this is the way we want to go. No, this is not the way we want to go. This is the way back up for the uh, characters who cannot go through the flames like our... Uh, adventurer and scientists are just incapable of doing so. So they've joined us now. Game is pretty good about bringing characters to you uh, when necessary. I never encountered a situation where I like ended up getting stuck because a character was in incapable of uh, you know making it through an obstacle that another character's special ability basically made possible. Sometimes you can jump up the rope. Sometimes you can't. I like when games allow you to jump up the rope. Oh please, not another chivalrous knight trying to win my love through misguided feats of bravery or bribery. I really need to talk to my father about this. Okay, let's get it over with. Go prove your bravery by returning with the gold the dragon is guarding. Do that, and I'll give you my amulet as a token of my love. Blah, blah, blah. That is what you want to hear, right? Dragon, gold, amulet. In that order. <sighs> Men. I just want to be an electrical engineer. 
Again, that is some classic uh, double fine type humor right there. But now, you heard what she said? It was a dragon gold amulet in that order. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to encounter... Uh, this is an interesting multi-stage puzzle that actually does a really good job of introducing you to a lot of the basic mechanics. Or actually, to truth be told, more advanced mechanics that we're going to have to deal with uh, in the cave in order to, su to succeed, I should say. So... To start out with here, you can see we got some signs. This is the amulet area, obviously, uh, and this is the dragon type area. So let's go down. She said dragon gold amulet in that order, and I'm just going to demonstrate why things are a little bit more complicated than they seem. So if we come down here first, we can see uh, there's this dragon now. I'm going to spoil things for you a little bit. This dragon is basically going to burn us to a crisp. The only reason I'm still alive is because I use the knight's... like. Halo ability or angel ability, which basically, basically makes him invincible, but this is not going to like make things any easier on us. This is not the solution to the puzzle. What is important for this puzzle, uh, by the way, the gold, as you might expect, is just behind him. Maybe we can get a quick glance at it here. Yeah, you can see that gold orb. Uh, but we, obviously we can't get to it this way or through any means of cooperation with our teammates. So what we actually have to do is just grab the dragon stuff here, which is basically just an assorted pile uh, of body parts and weapons that were obviously used to try to kill the dragon earlier. Uh, and obviously that failed. Uh, and we're just going to take this down with us. And we're going to use this basically as a crate to continue on our journey here. So by pushing this over here, we'll be able to get this next ca- Oh, don't get stuck in the wall, buddy. Sometimes this happens. I will say, uh, for all the good things I have to say about the cave, there have been some pretty substantial glitches that I've come across. I've had some items that, you know, were essential for quests to just disappear and require me to uh, reload my save or, like, reboot the game, basically. Occasionally, characters will get stuck in walls and stuff like that. I still think this is a good game overall, but occasionally you do encounter stuff like this, which is really annoying. Anyway, we're going to take our knight. We're going to jump over here. We might as well get this one to continue telling the story. Remember, he just put on the armor. So a playful deception. He's not really a knight, at least not yet. Uh, and we're going to do some platforming, get across here. And this will introduce kind of the next element of the puzzle. Obviously, in order to get this gold, we are going to have to open this gate with our key and then take the dragon's treasure. But how do we get the key, you ask? Well, I'm glad you did ask, uh, because that is going to require us to go up here, I believe. And we should probably, actually, not probably, we need more characters to come with us. If